Hey guys, welcome to LA Love Creative. And today I'm talking about some behind the scenes from a recent fashion photo shoot that I did, some moody looks, and how I achieved these looks um, for my fashion shoot. Speaking of lighting, I feel like this is a little bit too blue. Let's switch it up, warm it up a bit. Yeah, especially because we're talking about moody lighting. So recently I had a shoot with a model named Crystal from an agency I work with. Um, awesome model, we had a really good time shooting together. One of the things we really wanted to do was to give this model a more edgy, a more dramatic style of image. Um, something that was a little different compared to the stuff that's on her portfolio. Now, one of the ways I wanted to make her look a little more edgy is I wanted to focus on three different things. I wanted to have a more um, gradient when it comes to the lighting and the way that the light falls off into darkness. I wanted to have more shadow. I wanted more harsher lighting, like more hard shadows on the model. And I also wanted to infuse more color into the images so they would have a more of a dramatic and grittier feel. And I think that's what we did on this shoot and I really liked the way it turned out. When it came to my camera equipment, I used my Canon R6 and the Sigma 24 to 70 2.8. That was the only lens I used. That was the only camera I used for this for these particular looks. I love the way that Canon captures color and I knew I was in a good spot when it came to my Canon camera. For the first look that we did, I really wanted to create a gradient. Now, one of the things I like to do as a photographer is I like to focus on gradients. I like the idea of having a color background that kind of is multiple colors mixed together from light to dark. What I did with this particular shot is I used three different lights. I used my Forza 500. I bounced that light into some foam core so that it would fill the model's face and kind of create like a big giant half book light, we'll call that. Uh, a bounce light, a half bounce light onto the model's face. And then for the background, I used two different colored lights. I used a light storm, um, you know, LED, you know, aperture light storm that I gelled red with a strong saturated red. And then for the left side of the image, I also used a RGB light. I'll put the link in the description. And I made that red a little bit more pink so that it felt more like a red pink gradient. And I think that coupled with the soft light of the soft um, 5600 Kelvin light bounced onto her uh, face really gave it a cool color contrast and I really like the way these images look. Now for the next look, I used one light, and that one light was my Forza 500, um, and I used a spotlight mount from Godox. Obviously, it's not Nan light. I like the Godox spotlight mount because it's more adaptable for other LEDs as opposed to using aperture spotlight mount. Um, so I used the spotlight mount. I made a circle on a white wall, and that was my only light. Now, what I loved about this is it created a lot of depth. It created a um, place where your eyes had to focus, which was directly in the center of the image, but it also gave it a fall off into the shadow because the bright point of that image was the circle and then everything kind of fell into darkness. And I think when you're doing, especially for this particular look, we're using um, lingerie, the model had some a strappy outfit on. She had some sunglasses she was wearing. I felt like this type of look worked great because when you're wearing, you know, lingerie or whatever, I think one of the best things you can do is have that 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 um, outfit kind of fall into the darkness. And I think that looks really cool and moody uh, and dramatic. And I love the way these images turned out. I think one of the best things about this setup is if you embrace the shadows that it creates. A lot of times when you're shooting, especially when you're shooting studio work, you're trying to avoid the shadows. You will put a light on one side and a light on the other side, try to mitigate that shadow. I think when you're doing a look like this, embrace the shadows, have the shadows be part of the composition. And I love the way that um, Crystal did a lot of really cool poses and it allowed the shadows to kind of work with her and make the images even better um, with the shadows. Now 
Now the last look of the day, I wanted to create something that was a little bit more lifestyle, a little bit more softer and sexy, but I also wanted to stick with the same themes that we had, which were shadows, um, color infused lighting that we've done throughout the whole shoot day. And the way I did that was I had the Forza 500 with no spotlight mount, just a regular reflector on it. And I had that directly onto the model that was illuminating her, creating a shadow onto the lifestyle set of my photo studio. And then what I wanted to do is I thought that I would use the practical of the lamp behind her to kind of give her a hair light. And then I really wanted to infuse a red light, almost as if there was a LED you know, sign, neon sign or something coming through somewhere. I wanted a red light to be infused into the shadows of this image. And the way I did that is I used a RGB light, just shooting directly into more of the background and edging her on the side. I really love this look because subtly it adds a little bit of uh, of that grady, gradient that we were talking about, which is like light to red, basically red to bright. Um, and at the same time, it makes the images a little bit more edgier and a little bit more um, dramatic as opposed to just one direct light onto her in a lifestyle setting. And I thought the look turned out great. And I think the model did a great job of showing a lot of expressive emotions and really making these images pop. Now, all of these photos were taken at my photography studio, Sage Studios. It's a photography studio in the Arts District of downtown LA. And if you wanna book the studio, let me know in the comments below. Now, that's all I have to say about my photo shoot. I love to shoot and experiment with different lighting setups. I'm really loving continuous lighting um, as opposed to strobes and flashes. I will do a video on why I like to do continuous lighting compared to just, you know, strobes and flashes in the future, but I'm really liking it, especially as a hybrid shooter, um, and I'm having a blast doing so. So that's all I have to say about my photo shoot. Let me know if you have any questions about photography or videography in the comments below, and I will see you next time. Peace. <laughs>